Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over character entities for a web page. So I had a, someone ask me a question just, the, or just last night about this, and it came in handy, so let me share it with you. A character entity is basically a code that represents a special character. Let me go ahead and give you a real quick example. I'll type a paragraph, and um, a copyright symbol, put this on its little line space there, copyright symbol is equivalent to ampersand copy semicolon there we go so I've got a paragraph go ahead and save this jump back over to my browser and refresh and you'll see I've got a little copyright symbol on there so that is a character entity some character entities you're going to want to use a lot some you might not use very often but there's a few others that are out there um, let's see what about um, another good one let's see we'll do a trademark equals ampersand trade semicolon and let's do another one here before we test how about um, let's see let's do a uh, registered okay equals ampersand reg semicolon okay so those are, are a few that you might use let's go ahead and save that back over to the browser refresh there we go so we've got these various symbols now, there's a couple others that I want to show you too. One of them is probably the most popular one. So, I'm going to go ahead and type this out. If I can spell the most popular character entity is probably the non-breaking space. It is used a lot but mostly as a design tool. Okay, so a non-breaking space is just what it sounds like. It's a space on the web page, and it's meant to keep text from, or it's meant to keep a phrase from wrapping or breaking apart when it wraps. What does that really mean? I'm not explaining it that well. But let's check this out. And this is something you're actually supposed to do. And you can do it in Microsoft Word too. In Microsoft Word, you can create a non breaking space by pressing Control Shift Space. Well, you can do it in a web page. And you're supposed to use non breaking spaces for spaces within proper names names of people, names of organizations, names of companies. For example, um, Boy Scouts of America should use non-breaking spaces. Okay, so what that means is instead of regular spaces, I should be using non-breaking spaces. So let's see what happens if I don't use them. Let me go ahead and refresh. Okay, and I've got this paragraph. Now watch when I resize my browser here. Okay, see how Boy Scouts of America gets broken apart onto two lines. And you really shouldn't have that happen for a proper name for an organization. So what you should be doing is putting an ampersand NBSP semicolon. Ampersand NBSP semicolon is how you do a character entity for a non-breaking space. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and I'll just paste it. And notice I'm getting rid of the regular spaces and putting in non-breaking spaces. So now when I save and go back to my browser, Boy Scouts of America is on one line. And check this out, even if I resize my browser, Bam, the whole thing jumps down to the bottom. So that way, this organization name is always going to be together. It's not going to be broken apart. So now you know the official reason to use a non-breaking space. However, web designers have been using it for years as a design tool, and they would create horizontal space with it. Um, good thing, fortunately, we don't do it as much as we used to, but like in the late 90s, um, non-breaking spaces were used all the time to create horizontal space so that's what it's used for it's still a pretty popular uh, entity now another entity that I want to share with you is for less than and greater than signs they're really easy to do but it comes in handy whenever you want to show samples of code on your web page so there's a couple elements I'm going to use here um, let's see I'm going to do a paragraph and this is a sample of code or I'll, I'll, say, I'll call it a sample of markup to be more specific and after this paragraph, I'm going to use a set of code tags. There we go. And within that, I'm going to use a set of pre-tags for pre-format. Okay. 
Now the code tag doesn't have any built-in formatting by itself. It's really used so that you can control how this is going to look with some CSS. The pre-format tag will simply display what you're typing using the characters that you typed, or especially um, the tabs and the spaces. It'll maintain that kind of thing. So let's say you want to give somebody an example of uh, some code. Um, say I want to show you how to make a table. Okay, So there's a table tag. There we go, set of table tags. Within that table, there's a row. And within that row, there's a cell. Let's say another cell in the end of the row. And I'll just repeat that. So I've got two cells. So let's say your goal is to show somebody on a web page how to create a table out of HTML. Well, that's how you do it. But if I save this and I go to my browser and refresh, they're not actually seeing the table code. They're just seeing the actual table result. Cell, 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 cell. So I don't want to do that. So the best thing to do is to replace the angle brackets with character entities. Okay, So to take care of that, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and just select this range of text and I'm going to do a global replace here. So basically I'll, I'm on Notepad++. I'll do a control F to find and replace. I'm going to do a replace. I'm going to find every instance of the less than and I'm going to replace it with an entity. Ampersand LT semicolon. Okay, And I'm just going to look in my selection and I'll replace all. 14 replacements were made. There we go. So now all of my less than signs were replaced with character entities that represent less than signs. So if I save this, head back over here and refresh, now I can show a person what that um, table code would look like. There it is. See? So now let me show you. So with the preformat tag, what's nice about that is with preformat, I could go to these particular lines and I could press my tab key and tab key, save this, head over to my browser and refresh, and those indentations will show up. That's what the preformat tag does. And by the way, and it's probably hard to tell, the preformat tag is also putting in a uh, fixed width font for me here, typewriter text kind of thing. So that's a couple things that the preformat will do. Now, what can I do with the code tag? Well, with the code tag, I could go up to my style sheet and I could say, all right, well, whenever I use the code tag, I'm going to do a couple things here. First, I'm going to display it as a block element, and then I'll set the background color to uh, dark blue, and I'll set the color of the text to white. Okay. In fact, let me do. I'll also bold it. Font weight bold and padding 10 pixels. There we go. So a couple things there. So now, whenever I have a code sample on my page, it'll have a blue background. So that way you can do code samples that kind of stand out to people. All right, so that's a little bit with character entities. So we've got uh, copyright, trademark, registered. By the way, if you do a Google search for HTML entities, you'll find big lists of a whole bunch of different entities out there, including there's a bunch of uh, unusual bullets you can do too if you want to use them uh, for bullets in a bulleted list. Uh, certainly the non-breaking space, that's what it's used for. Proper names, organizations, people's names, stuff like that. And of course the uh, code tag and pre-tag. But then if you want to supply code to people, use ampersand LT semicolon instead of the less than sign. By the way, there's also ampersand GT semicolon for the greater than sign.